If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -Rays. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 5 slash COD 2020 video. So hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy it because we have a ton of information here today from Jason Schreier, who is a very well-known insider for multiple games, not just Call of Duty. He has said stuff in the past for Call of Duty, but he's mostly focused on a lot of stuff like he was, I think, the one who exposed some stuff behind the scenes for Treyarch and also for other studios and time crunches that happened there. And I think he was the one actually who mentioned what was going on also between Activision and the three other studios who were trying to make COD 2020. I think he's the one who made that report about how it went bad and Activision was like, yo, Trek, get in here and save this. So this guy, also a very well-known insider. So I would take what he has to say as pretty believable. And also keep in mind that, you know, this is all information that could change. It's just stuff that he has heard. So it could change. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a like guys on the video. Super appreciated. You guys have been destroying the support lately. So I do appreciate it continue to do so by dropping a like and obviously if you are new if you want to see more content like this about 90 percent of my viewers right now are people who i've been searching around and finding my videos so if you enjoy the content and if you want to stay up to date with cod 2020 and other modern warfare content then make sure you guys slap that subscription button and hit that little notification bell and set it to all notifications also make sure you guys check out control freak they're awesome for your control sticks if they're wearing out and also check out g2a if you guys want cheap pc games xbox live codes and more so check them out if you guys want to link down below code ogx rays gets you a bit of a discount but let's talk about this so today we actually got a little bit of information some from jason schreier the other one is actually from the gaming revolution they actually did a follow-up video talking about the information that they heard and well it's pretty you know stuff that kind of balances off each other which is actually kind of interesting but first let's talk about jason schreier so jason schreier says that the 2020 game is not a black ops reboot despite rumors from tgr and other sources saying it so again TGR yesterday basically we talked about how the new rumor from him and from what they have heard is that it is no longer going to be a Black Ops game that it's still going to be set within the Black Ops universe and that there's going to be recurring characters but it's no longer a reboot of sorts a regular reboot and that it was not going to even be called Call of Duty Black Ops anymore and well it looks like this was confirmed today by Jason Schreier so this is the tweet that he replied to he basically says uh, someone was asking him what do you happen to know about any information for this year's call of duty title it's linked to be black ops reboot but i'm just curious as to what you've heard and jason schreier said i don't think it's a reboot so this kind of talks about what uh, again and this is information that came out today but this pretty much confirms what the gaming revolution was saying the other day that it wasn't black ops anymore that it was going to be within the black ops universe it was going to be related to it but it wasn't going to be a black ops game anymore so it looks like this pretty much confirms that now the other, other thing that wasn't really mentioned in this charlie until article is that jason schreier was actually uh, the reason this whole thing came about was because he was talking about games and how they were going to be affected this fall with the epidemic and so he was basically talking about that and he said that call of duty was still coming out this year or that from what he has heard it's still coming out this year and i guess that's also another question that's kind of interesting would it be delayed are we not getting call of duty 2020 are we going to get it later on into 2021 would we get it in december is it just going to be delayed a couple of months because again a lot of studios not just call of duties but a lot of studios in general are all working from home and it's slowing down the updates the uh, new events that are going on in game and i'm still kind of shocked that we're still getting updates and stuff for modern warfare despite the fact that the majority of people are working from home so it's pretty crazy but again that was kind of the first bit of news that we got for cod 2020 it looks from what he has heard so far it's still slated to be coming out here in 2020 so the other information we got from here is actually uh about what the game is going to be called and he followed up and said what do you think then vietnam title and he said yeah cold war slash vietnam i believe and then he actually had more of a follow-up from here uh, which is actually pretty interesting in that he said that the name that he has heard and we'll see the tweet on screen right now but it says update two shar has posted another tweet saying the game might be part of the black ops world slash connected to it but not a reboot he also said that the name he has internally heard is call of duty vietnam do you know slash think it's if it's going to be part of the black ops series then and jason replied with i'm not a cod person so i don't know anything about all the lore shenanigans or what it really means to be a black ops game but one title i've heard thrown around a couple of times is just 
Call of Duty Vietnam. As far as I know, it's part of the Black Ops series though, not sure. So what's interesting about this though, is that the other day in the video that TGR did with DK Dynamite, they basically talked about this. They said that it wouldn't really be a surprise to them if the game ended up being called Call of Duty Vietnam, because we have actually had a game that was called after a war, which was Call of Duty World War II from Sledgehammer Games. So it wouldn't really shock me if they just went, you know what, it's called Call of Duty Vietnam, and they could just call it that. So again, this is what Jason Schreier has heard. This kind of also leans into what PGR has said the other day within his leak video. And today they actually had a pretty interesting discussion in that they have heard and this is information coming from TGR and from DK Dynamite. So this is from them, not from Jason Schreier. Again, I still tend to think that their information is very reliable. So I'm going to go ahead and think that this is legit. But they said that from what they have heard, that they might actually position this next Call of Duty in COD 2020 as a Sledgehammer Games game. That it's being led by them, despite the fact that Treyarch is the one who came in and is pretty much salvaging the whole thing and that the reason that they think that this is happening and that this is being discussed behind the scenes is because they don't want Treyarch's name to be kind of put down and tarnished even more after what happened with Black Ops 4. So Black Ops 4 came out, a lot of people didn't enjoy it, a lot of people really disliked Black Ops 4, and a lot of people just unanimously seem to think that Black Ops 4 was not really that great of a game. I personally still pretty much enjoyed it. I did enjoy uh, Black Ops 4, but it was not what I thought it was going to be. I did not enjoy the multiplayer as much as I thought I was going to like it. I still did enjoy it, but not quite as much as I was hoping for. And the zombies was lackluster. Let's just admit that there was no campaign. So there was a lot of disappointing things about Black Ops 4, and it did make Treyarch take a hit in terms of reputation and quality. A lot of people thought that Treyarch could do no harm, that they were great, the only good studio with consecutively and consistent Call of Duty titles. And well, Black Ops 4 came out and that kind of brought everyone back to reality. And so because of that reason, now the discussion apparently behind the scenes is that they want to put forward this game as a Sledgehammer Games game that was created with assistance from Raven Software and from Treyarch. So essentially saying that Raven and Treyarch were the support studios as opposed to saying that Treyarch is actually the one leading the whole thing. So it's kind of interesting because if that is true, then it kind of makes sense now why in the earnings call that we had earlier this year that they did not mention who was the studio head. They didn't mention who was the main studio working on the COD which is interesting because they have never done that before. Before they would always go, we're excited for the next Call of Duty coming out this end of the year from Sledgehammer Games or from Infinity Ward. But this time around, they just said that they were excited for this next game that was coming down the pipeline. And that's it. They didn't mention who the studio was. And, and if they didn't mention it, it could be because of that reason. Maybe Treyarch and Activision know like, hey, this might not be great. We already had a crunch time less than two years. We already had uh, this pandemic that's going on behind the scenes, which is further delaying the development and slowing it all down. And from what was mentioned from leaks and stuff, it is kind of a mess still over there. Maybe they're trying to say like, hey, we're going to make Sledgehammer Games the face of this game. We're going to say it's their game. And then if the game comes out and it's absolute trash or hot trash when it comes out, then it'll be Sledgehammer Games who takes the hit, who's the smaller studio, as opposed to Treyarch, who is just coming off this not great game that a lot of people did not like, that they already took a hit to the reputation. And again, the Treyarch games have been the money cows, okay? Modern Warfare right now did insane. It's doing great. A lot of people are uh, pretty happy with the game, I would say, overall. But, you know, they kind of had to prove themselves over again after infinite warfare and you know after cod ghost which wasn't a bad game but it wasn't the most critically acclaimed and well-received game so they kind of had some work to do and they came back and modern warfare has been great and then it's been doing financially insane for them but again they had to kind of make their way up and then treyarch was kind of the proven you know win horse like it was their main horse like their money getter horse that they would put in the race and they came up lame with this last game and so they kind of don't want Treyarch their golden boy their golden goose to be the one to take yet another hit on top of this so it might be that it might just be that they go yo Treyarch just helped make this game they're not the ones who actually made it they're just helping Sledgehammer Games did it and then maybe they'll throw Sledgehammer Games under the bus we'll see but it's all very interesting. So again, the information we got today, Jason Schreier, 
we had that this next Call of Duty is not a Black Ops reboot, that it's not even called Black Ops anymore, that it's going to be possibly called Call of Duty Vietnam, which is kind of leaning on or supporting the fact that TGR's leaks about it being called possibly also COD Vietnam from a few days ago is legit a true thing. So then from there, we obviously talked about the new leaks, about what's going on behind the scenes, how, you know, it might not even be Treyarch who's called the main studio for this one and for the reasons I just discussed. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys found the video informative and helpful. If you guys did, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a like on the video. Super appreciated. Incredibly helpful. As always, you guys have been killing the support and I truly appreciate you guys. So if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like. If you are new, obviously make sure you guys do subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and set it to all notifications. It's truly, truly appreciated. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can either do so by checking out my merch, link in the description below, or you guys can actually check out G2A or Control Freak. Either of those guys are awesome as well. You get cheap PC games with G2A, and you also get some pretty awesome control sticks for Control Freak. Code OGX Rays gets you a discount on that. You guys have an awesome day. Follow me on Twitter at OGX Rays. Uh, as always, if you guys want to talk or anything, I'm literally on there all the time. Give me a follow at OGX Rays. Link down below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.